here on the table all the ingredients uh, that we need today for it. And Laura is going to be the one cooking and I'll chat through the recipe and the different um, components and ingredients and why we're using what we're using and, and how to do it. So firstly, um, what we need to do is get a tray. So the recipe calls for a 30 by 20 centimeter tray. Then we need some baking paper or foil or something to line the tray with. And then what we need to do is just prepare all the ingredients and then they go into the one bowl and mix it up. So firstly, zucchinis and then just grating. Yep, it's straight into a bowl or a chopping board, whatever you, you have there, because we are just gonna combine it all in the end. So first we will crack the eggs. So the recipe calls for five eggs. So we'll get Law to crack the eggs into a bowl here. So a separate bowl, because what we need to do is whisk them. So this one's just a tasty cheese. You could use whatever you like. The third of olive oil. Again, you could use whatever oil you had. So eventually all the ingredients are going to be combined anyway. So we're just putting the oil in with the zucchini and then we're needing to measure out uh, one full cup of self-raising flour. So with the onion, we're taking off the top and bottom <laughs> and taking off the thick skin. Try where you can to just use um, sort of the eye of or the main bit of the bacon and discard the fat bit there. Um, the bacon will also, it's quite salty, so it will give some flavour that way, but we will add some pepper in just for a bit of um, flavour. So again, you will need quite a large bowl um, because it does create quite a lot of mixture. Cottage cheese um, to put in there, good one. Scrape it into the pre-lined tin. If the whole mix doesn't fit, you don't have to put it all in because it does make quite a bit. You can see it, while it doesn't rise, it sort of sets down a bit, but solidifies. So it's quite, um, well, it's cooked and hard there. The anticipation. Very tasty. tasty, yeah. I like it. I don't usually like the but it's not too bad. Oh, right. <laughs> Bubble Healthy Lifestyle Program is a program for the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community living in the St George and Sutherland area where they can come and attend a whole range of activities focused on improving uh, their lifestyle and increasing the focus of health in their lifestyle. The program has an exercise physiologist, a dietitian, a clinical nurse consultant, and an Aboriginal liaison who all work together to provide a range of these groups. They include a walking program, where individuals come down, go for a walk, do some exercise in a park. There's a gym program where they can attend a gym on site, have an individualized program written for them, which they can then go through to improve their strength and fitness. There's an aqua group where you can go and do those kinds of strength movements, but in the water environment, which makes it weightless and really enjoyable. And there's a dietitian available to do one-on-one -on -one consults and cooking sessions to improve the nutritional aspect of the, of the lives of the individuals we work with. Pete, what does it mean to you to be involved in the Bulbulwil program? Being with the Bulbulwil program means everything to me. I've been with them for four, five years now. I've got some health issues and I did have a serious time, serious problem, and without Bubba Will, I wouldn't be here. What have you most valued about being in the program? The Healthy Lifestyle Program means everything to me. I look forward to it every Thursday. Uh, we're missing out on the gym due to COVID, but I will not miss this program for the love of money.
The instructors are the best people. Everybody cares. Everybody at Bubba Will I've ever met has been here to help me. And as I said, without them, I would not be here. I can't thank Bubba Will enough for the years of help they've given me.